Hi everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Today is going to be a really awesome video because we're going to be talking about the majestic beauty, the amazing Natchez crepe mural. I love this tree so much and I know it's a crepe mural but not because it's a crepe mural, they're going to be growing exactly the same way. So pay attention because this one is majestic. It grows to 20 feet high. It's one of the biggest one. Really big and this is like an average and then also why it can grow to 20 feet wide. And again, this is an average. It can grow even more. And it has this canopy umbrella shape as you can see. It's beautiful. You don't have to worry about cutting it at all because it already has that beautiful shape of an umbrella shape giving you all of that beautiful roundness. It's so amazing. Plus also with this tree, you have interest all year long. You're gonna see from June all the way to September, you have this beautiful majestic white flowers growing in the tree, which are so pretty. And when the wind is flowing, it looks like it's snowing because it's so pretty to see all those white flowers just to fall on the ground. It's really, really pretty. Then also in spring, when the leaves are coming out, the spring is gonna be like a pinkish red then to green really pretty to watch and then on autumn which autumn is coming soon you're gonna see the whole tree turns like it's a fire it everything turns the whole tree the whole leaves everything turns into this orange almost red color really beautiful it's amazing and so we have it here in the center of our garden and we love it it's a an amazing wonderful center you know focal point in the garden and then during the winter you're not gonna be just missing out on some majestic beauty because the bark of the tree it has this reddish cinnamon like color you know really really pretty and it starts like desquamating like peeling off beautiful and then you will see that some of the branches also hold the seeds so you will also have that winter interest of watching also the seed pods really pretty i love 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 this tree this tree grows in a zone 7 to a zone 10. i have read that also grows in a zone 6 to a zone 9 but to the average let's say zone 7 to zone 9 then because i am not familiar about any other zones be besides our zone which is a zone 7. so we are in maryland and we have our tree grow in a zone 7 and it does fantastic it needs to have sun and it needs to have a, a good amount of sunlight at least six hours of direct sunlight we have it in a north facing side of our house you know that it would take more sunlight if it was in the south facing side of the house but in here it does really well and it has a good amount of sunlight early in the morning which is something that they actually um, promote that to have it in a north facing side because that way it takes the first sunlight in the morning and so all of that um, you know wetness from the evening because you know the humidity and all that kind of stuff then it's gonna allow it to dry very quickly by having that impact of the sunlight versus being all the way at the end of the day getting the sunlight from the, the south facing that it might take longer and it can have mold dew. so I'm not sure about that but I have it in the north facing side of the house and it does fantastic as you can see over here it's super 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 pretty I love it so much and so don't put it if you're gonna be buying this um, crepe mural don't put it in a place that it's gonna be crowded or put it in a place that's gonna be close to electrical wires or anything like that because as I said it grows pretty big so as you can see in our house we have it right in front of our house It's in the center of the garden anchoring everything everything goes around this tree and so it has plenty of space far away from the garden from the the main house the main entrance far away from any electrical wire underneath the soil or any of the water pipes as well. The root system, it's not that it's gonna be growing too deep, but it does grow wide. Um, so, and also it gives you different shoots. So that's another thing. You wanna make sure that if you have any other ex extra shoots, um, you know, you don't wanna have multiple trees growing, just, you know, make sure to remove any other new shoot that's growing and then you're good to go but if not if you just don't maintain it then you might might see that you might have a cluster of baby trees growing around the tree which is good if you want to have like a hedge or something like that that they use it also for hedging so that might be wonderful and as i said this tree also is a fast grower because it can grow up to five feet in one year so mm-hmm 
you can have if you want it for hedging you will have a hedge in no time so i hope that you enjoyed this video i know that i did this were just some tips of the amazing beautiful natchez tree which is so beautiful i love the natchez tree so i hope that you enjoyed it too if you did then go ahead and like this video subscribe to our channel and be part of the amazing jealous community this is a really kind community and in here we share every tuesday something new this is the lifestyle channel where you're gonna see all kinds of stuff from decor, gardening, doing it yourself, home remedies, recipes, hiki cozy days, cat videos, you name it. We have everything for everybody. So I'll see you again next Tuesday. Bye guys. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the miracles. Bye. Love you.